Polycystic ovarian syndrome, or PCOS, is a syndrome characterized by irregular cycles, typically either clinical or biochemical evidence of increased androgens or male-type hormones, uh, and multiple follicles in the ovaries. Uh, and the problem with polycystic ovary syndrome is that there really is not a specific test that allows you to diagnose the problem. So from a practical standpoint, in those individuals who want to try to conceive, you really have to decide what the best approach is given the clinical setting. And that clinical setting is typically identified by virtue of a history and exam, ultrasound to assess clinical estrogenization. Once a diagnosis, or at least a tentative diagnosis of polycystic ovary syndrome is made, there are a number of ways, oral medications or injectable medications, to try to stimulate ovulation in order to produce pregnancies. Well, the underlying problem in women who have polycystic ovary syndrome and are uh, have been unsuccessful in conceiving is that they don't ovulate. Now we know that some significant portion of patients, perhaps somewhere between 10 and 20 percent of those who don't ovulate also may have a different problem as well. The fact remains that the underlying problem for these patients is they don't ovulate. Ovulate referring to the process by which an egg matures, is ejected from the ovary, and ideally swept up into the fallopian tubes. And that's the underlying fertility barrier for those women trying to conceive who have PCOS. So the term ovulation induction refers to any treatment approach that will induce or promote ovulation in these women who otherwise are not ovulatory. Presumably, if you can successfully help them ovulate, all things being equal, they will then be successful in conceiving.